Hello and welcome again everyone into this new series of videos on the modeling uh, of an arched up acoustic guitar, obviously it could be electric, uh, with SolidWorks. Thank you very much for your interest in this video series and uh, what I'm going to do in this video is provide you with a little bit of an introduction uh, as to what uh, we're going to build, uh, how we're going to build it, and provide you with some of the details uh, around uh, SolidWorks and uh, our modeling process in case you have any questions. Feel free to contact me in, in case you have any additional questions. Uh, as always, you can go to my website. You can see here we have a section on uh, arch stops. Uh, you can uh, see my email address right here, cyborgcnc at gmail.com. And uh, another thing that I want to highlight is you can also subscribe uh, to my newsletter here. And uh, you'll receive periodic emails on uh, any news or uh, new models. Okay, so what we have on the screen here is the guitar model that ultimately, uh, by the end uh, of the series of videos, uh, we're going to uh, create, uh, we're going to model. Uh, one thing that I want to highlight is that this series of videos, it's not a series on how to construct uh, and physically build an arched up guitar. It is, a series, it is a series of videos on how to model an arched up guitar. Uh, another recommendation that I have uh, is let's go to Stu Mac here. And if we go to uh, Books and Plans, Acoustic Guitar Books, uh, Making an Arched Up Guitar. I really recommend that you purchase this book uh, if you're interested uh, f uh, in further. Um, constructing an arch stop instrument, uh, it will teach you a lot of the theory behind it, uh, the reason why we do some of the things we do. Uh, Bob Benedetto is one of the leading authorities on arch stop instruments. He has been building his guitars forever uh, and he's famous uh, all over the world. So a great, great reference. Uh, this book was an invaluable reference to me when I was modeling this guitar. And again, what I'm going to model for here is I'm going to model for the sole purpose of taking the parts that we are going to create, placing those parts on a CNC machine, and then ultimately cutting those parts out to have a great sounding guitar. I am not modeling just for the purpose of creating a model and saying, oh look, I have a model, you know, let me go render it. This is not what I'm doing here. Uh, obviously, you can render this model as well. As you can see, I have used some wood textures myself here to make it look a little better. But the model is accurate. The model is built directly from the blueprints. And it's accurate to the point where if you're going to take the top plate, the bottom plate, the fretboard, the neck, the, uh, the tailpiece here, the bridge, and you are going to machine them, you will have, and then you put the whole thing together, you know, you will have a great sounding instrument. With that, let's take a cross section of this guitar. And as you can see here, not only are the top surfaces accurately modeled, but also the inner surfaces and the inner contours are accurately modeled. Again, directly from the blueprints. As you can see, the recurve around the edges that's going to free this top to freely vibrate. It's like an acoustical chamber or a speaker diaphragm, if you will that once you pluck the strings, this thing is going to sound great. As you can also see here, I've also went to the length of creating the cross braces, just as a reference, but you will see also why I did that uh, later on. I modeled the tailpiece and the bridge and, and the finger um, uh, guard here, uh, the fretboard. Uh, one of the things that I would like to emphasize is that uh, a unique ability of SOLIDWORKS it's the ability to create assemblies. So as you can see here, I've created the top plate, the bottom, the neck, all the pieces, and then I'm able to go into the assembly features and put and mate, if you will, all of these pieces together. It's an incredible uh, feature of SOLIDWORKS that allows me to basically see how everything will fit together before I cut any sort of wood. In fact, one of the things that I like to highlight is if we go here, you can see how accurately this neck extension has been fitted to the top. 
I have a video specifically talking on that. I, I don't even know how you would begin to do this in any other modeling application. Again, we are building here for the purpose of ultimately creating our instrument, not just for modeling. As you can see, I have even gone down to creating inlay for the tailpiece here that you can also use the method to create inlay for your fingerboard. The version of SOLIDWORKS that I am using, it's SOLIDWORKS 2011. Now, if you have an earlier version, like 2009 or 10, you will not be able to open up this model in those versions. That is a limitation of SOLIDWORKS. However, you can, you can create this model in those earlier versions by following uh, the process here in these videos. I do not use any specific tools that are only specific to 2011. In fact, you can probably go as far as back as 2007 and following the methodology here, you will be able to create this r -stop instrument. If this r -stop guitar is not to your liking, the methods here can be used to create any other r -stop instrument. Uh, again, if we go to StuMac, you'll see that there are also other plans that you can purchase. Let's say, for example, you're, you like a Les Paul, you can purchase a Les Paul plan. Obviously, if you're building this arch stop, please purchase this arch stop plan. And uh, going through this series of videos, you can see how you can use a blueprint like that. There are many uh, other uh, places on the internet that sell them, that you can import them to create the model in SOLIDWORKS. In these videos, all of the models that you see here, uh, the reference sketches, the pictures, the reference material, are all included on the disk. What we do is we begin by modeling the top. I then create the bottom. I then create the sides. Then we go into assemblies and we put them all together. I then have a video that specifically talks about and walks you through the process of creating the neck. I have the neck build and then I walk you through the design tree as to how I build it. If you were able to create the top and follow along, you will be able to also follow along and create the neck. Really, the process is simple. This is a course on surface modeling. It is not a course on solid modeling. Contrary to a lot of beliefs out there, SOLIDWORKS is a very capable surface modeler, as you can see here. And it's the flexibility and power of SOLIDWORKS to combine surfaces and solids to create great looking models and then take them into again this unique ability of assemblies to piece everything together and then see how everything fits together, how it functions, etc. before you even cut any sort of piece of wood. In fact, I have a specific video that shows you how you can precisely measure the height of the neck and the height of the bridge here to be precisely one inch off the top of the body so that then when you fit the neck and you take this piece and you put it on your CNC machine and you cut it out, you really have almost no measurement to do. Again, very unique um, uh, process of doing that. I don't even know how something like that would be uh, possible in any sort of other modeling package. Some of the questions people have had is, well, can I use your methods here because I'm a user of uh, Rhino, I am a user of Moto, I'm a user of Moi, I'm a user of um, uh, 3ds Max, you know, insert your favorite CAD, uh, CAD package. The answer to that is maybe. Some of my techniques here, um, the way that I create splines, probably can be used in other modeling applications, but a lot of the tools, uh, a lot of the flexibility in SOLIDWORKS allowing me to bring in reference material like blueprints, arrange them, uh, uh, you know, size them, are unique to SOLIDWORKS. So I don't think that um, you, can, you can translate some of those other tools, uh, but it's quite possible. You know, there's a lot of other packages out there that are similar to SOLIDWORKS. Uh, for example, I believe uh, uh, Katia is very similar to SOLIDWORKS. Um, <clears throat> and there's a lot of other CAD packages out there that if you do a little bit of research, uh, have somewhat similar tools. Uh, just want to make sure that I answer that because I have gotten that, you know, those questions. Okay, so why don't you say that we get started? I again want to uh, thank you all 
for your interest in this series of videos. Uh, I know it has been a long time coming and I am glad that I finally have been able to put this series of videos together. Uh, I do hope that you will find them as detailed uh, and as uh, exciting uh, as my previous videos. I, I would love to hear from you. Uh, I would like to thank you in advance for spending the time with me uh, going through this series of videos and please forward those pictures you know we'd love to see the models that you create uh, with these methods obviously I would love to see your CNC router uh, you know uh, sit there and cut a, a, a guitar such as this and then also see the finished product um, planning on creating a customer gallery uh, for my website and uh, I would love to, sh uh, to be able uh, to showcase uh, some of the great models and some of the great guitars uh, that people out there have built. So I'm hopeful that by the end of this video that your guitar model is actually going to look better <laughs> than the model here. And uh, if you take your time and if you uh, uh, watch these videos on the step-by-step -step process that I take to create this, I am confident that you will achieve great results. So thank you again everyone and I uh, look forward to spending this time with you. Uh, let's get started. Let's move on to the next video where we're going to talk about how we use reference material and begin to actually uh, take the first steps into beginning to model our guitar. Welcome.